and gentlemen, it's been a minute, y'all. How y'all doing? It's been a minute since we've seen some nukes. Top five. Drop a thumbs up and let's get into it. Subscribe if you're brand new, man. We're trying to grow, trying to hit 2,000 subscribers. Walk let's, without let's rhythm. Let's get it, man. One Number night, 10. couple Eric and Dunya head out to the beach in the Netherlands. They plan to search for the bioluminescent algae that only appears during warm summer nights. The algae is a favorite amongst photographers and sightseers because Bruh. of its otherworldly blue sparkle as it crashes into the ocean waves. Now unfortunately, Eric and Dunya don't find any of the algae while strolling along the beach, and they decide to just head back home. They stroll along a pathway that is surrounded by the Ow. overgrown brush of what is Okay, I can already feel like some bad but I get a, but I happen. Referred to in the Netherlands as the dunes. Without even knowing, Eric captures something that is downright chilling. Ow! Hey! I'm assuming someone would be like standing at a distance. That's what I'm assuming. Cause like. Well nice, oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Your head explode again. I think I saw it. It While just... panning the camera, a dark shadow-like mass can be seen popping up and then quickly ducking back down into the yeah. brush. It happens so quick that the couple doesn't even notice. Now it's worth mentioning that the fence you see in the video is there for a reason, as it's highly illegal to cross the fence and walk into the dunes. These particular dunes are an important protected natural habitat for rare bird species that nest there during summer months. Okay. So it is highly unlikely that anyone could have been hiding in the bushes. And there are no large animals in the dunes. <laughs> Now, Might this be... is when things start to get... Yo, can it be a chihuahua, though? Bruh. Get really weird. I think it's a what chihuahua. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, someone gotta be behind this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't say that. I don't know. We're way too far away from any people to be getting creeped out over this kind of shit right now. Yeah. You may, what if? I keep it to myself next time. <laughs> yeah, please do. <laughs> okay. I feel like that they're gonna start <laughs> running. No, but are you serious? Did you really hear something? Yeah, I really. Heard but what something. did it sound like? I don't know, like something like crawling, but following. Bruh. It's a bit weird. It's like yeah, crawling but following. Yeah. Is it still following us now? No, it stopped because we stopped. So if we, we stopped. keep on going, it's gonna keep on following us. I don't know. I don't hear it anymore. Yeah, I heard it. Again? Yeah. It's getting There's nothing real. Here, though, wow. Maybe there's uh, like a friendly bunny. <laughs> you imagine it jumps bunny. out. Though. Oh my god. Danya swears that she hears something following along after them from somewhere within the thick brush of the dunes. So just what is this? And even creepier is it following them as they hurry home. Let me know what you think. Might be a Shivala the night though, visitor. An overnight security guard is watching the basement lobby of a luxurious apartment building in Santa Marta, Colombia. At around That's 3 a.m., an old woman approaches the door and the guard hurries over to open it up for her. The Yo, old bro, I've seen this. I've seen this. Lady asks for help, and it seems like the guard and the elderly woman are having a long conversation. Or maybe not. I don't think. Okay, I've seen a similar video, but maybe not this one. One problem, though. There is no old lady. Ow! The CCTV cameras do not record anyone else in this room. Damn. As his fellow guards watch him on the CCTV monitor from nope. the control room, they start to get a bit concerned. So they radio him and ask, uh, "Hey, uh, well, what's going on down there?" The guard says, uh, I'm talking to an old lady who says she needs some help. Yo, he bought a run. He bought a, like, not even, he's not gonna pump the brakes at all. He's gonna dead ass run the second they tell him that you're not alone. He's gonna be like, surprise. He's but gonna be surprised. The guard's surprised. blood runs cold as multiple replies come back on his radio from his fellow guards who say, there's no one there. <laughs> Guards seem shocked, so they repeat, there is no one there, there is no one there. The guard is shook. He smashes at the elevator button in an irrational panic, and then just makes a run from the building. When investigating the case later, residents of the apartment say that they have also witnessed the spirit of the old lady. 
Damn. Some say they have also had conversations with her where she asks for help. Hey. So what do you think is going on here? Hey. Did the security guard really see a ghost? I leave it up to you to decide. Poltergeist. Do not look behind you. A happy family in North Wales says that they live in a house that is over 300 years old and is haunted by some sort of entity or poltergeist. They say that they often experience unexplained activity, so they decided to set up a security camera in an attempt to catch some of these strange phenomena on video. They upload their spooky captures to their YouTube channel, Ragnar and the Viking Family. So, early one evening after dinner, one of the kids is sitting at the dining room table with their laptop when this happens. Ow! This happened? Oh, snap. So, what, what's going to happen? There's like this thing kind of creeping me out, this thing, you know? Hey! Oh, no, my bad, my bad. I'm going to go for a quick shower. Okay. Okay, and Really? Yo, I accidentally mm -hmm. fired. Yo, thankfully I missed my shot there because like... Oh, beep, beep, beep. What? What the... Bruh. Oh, she's gonna run. Yeah. Two yeah, separate she... chairs inexplicably move by themselves. One of them tipping over and falling to the floor. The girl quickly puts down her headset and hurries to... You, you think that's a genuine reaction? I feel like that's a genuine reaction. She did not run, but running does not mean scared. You can walk away too. The way she just like puts her headset down and the way she just moves. Uh, did she actually put her chair back? That would be a... To find her dad. But no, that's she did not. not. All. Less than an hour. And there, and once she reached this point, she was like, okay, I gotta make a little jog. And she started jogging a little bit, right? Just walking faster, I should say. I, I feel like that's a genuine reaction because people would always assume that running means like really scared. But sometimes you, you walking that way also reveals that you're scared. Hour later on the same night, this happens. Okay, another night, same thing. Yay! Oh, 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 oh. A cup suddenly flies off the dining room table, spooking the family dog. Oh, my bad. Cut to another day, and the family dad. No, bro, I shot the dog. Nope. What's the. I don't have a sad sound effect. My bad, bro. I. Man, I shot the dog. I don't have a sound. <sighs> it begins to hear strange noises Bruh. coming from the back of the house. Fearing I don't have the a worst, he grabs his phone and records as he goes to investigate. What happens next is downright chilling. Ow! A noise from downstairs. Okay, when you know when that dog appeared at that time, I really did not know that was the dog, boys. Uh, one like equal one prayer for that doggo. I accidentally shot him. Bumble Bumble but, God. but but it really felt like that that was an entity that genuinely terrified me. Like I was genuinely scared. I was like a pow pow son. But now some bad but it happened. It sounded like footsteps. I came from the back of the house, and we know we're the only people in the house. There's no one else here. Bro, I'm trigger happy. I got a control. Hey! I'm gonna stay here. Huh? I'm gonna stay here. It's too scary. Right. Didn't come from this area of the house, but it sounded like footsteps. <laughs> Jesus Christ! The door just closed. Was there someone in? Did you see anyone? No. <laughs> Guys, is anyone in here? No Nothing. Clear. Hello. Hello. Clear. 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 Check under the bed. Hello. That's weird. That's creepy. Hello. The door is really stiff on the carpet. So we can't close so well. So how can it close? There's no window open. Ethan, move open the curtains. Yeah, if you got kids around, I gotta make sure I I don't shoot accidentally. Let's get out of here, guys. Come on. Yeah, guys, go on. Go. On. A bedroom door at the end of the hallway on the second floor slams shut. They open the door to inspect the bedroom and no one there. So could this family be dealing with a poltergeist? Bro, like, did Bruh. you did you really just really nigga? Did you really just set us up by saying that there will be some crazy 
that's gonna happen. It was just a door slam, bro. Bruh. Like, it, it wasn't that scary, man. I leave it to you to decide. Bruh. Before we move on to the next video, type at gmail. Bro, Mississippi. I'll tell you this, man. The anticipation and not knowing what's gonna happen, that's truly is what, what keeps me entertained and keeps me watching. I'll tell you that. Like, these videos are amazing, though. I love these videos, no doubt. Nukes Top 5, y'all gotta subscribe to you the You received a well. motion detection update on our outdoor security camera. When she checked the footage, she found something truly creepy. So what? We had two cats there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got a cup. <coughs> so the video quickly gained popularity. Many curious viewers commented that it looks like there's two or possibly three apparitions. Some even Bruh. say that it's a lady wearing a dress from the 1900s. Bruh. By her two ghostly children. Stop the cat. Kimberly Stop and her husband cabinet. William say that they have had their security camera in place for a long time, but they have never caught anything like this so nah, man. stop the cap you gotta stop the cap bro like thoughts uh, thoughts nope. on this one like n number one it was like a smoke kind of number two i feel like there was a light coming from somewhere and that's what was hitting the the shadow and then he says number three there was like another shadow i don't know man it, it's kind of convincing but but i really don't know what you think was there, okay? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts, man. What do you think this is? Was it just a very odd fog rolling through the area? Probably. And if so, why did they only get this one creepy notification? The staircase. I think Paranormal it's Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations stay close to home in their new exploration as they spend the night at Phil's workplace in Kent, England. In 1902, the Kent Electric Power Company was built on the same land where Phil now works. Due to poor working conditions and a general disregard for worker safety, there were many horrific accidents. Okay. Many workers lost their lives inside the old power plant and it was eventually rebuilt in a new location. However, many believe that the ghosts of the old power plant workers still haunt the location. Bill says that through the years he's had multiple paranormal encounters while at work, but over that time he's just sort of gotten used to it. The Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations team sets up several static cameras in the building to capture any supernatural activity. Then Jeff and Phil decide to ask questions directed at any residual spirits that might still haunt the building. And this is when things start to get really creepy this is where it starts to get okay let's see what would happen i'm expecting like a some sort of bozo maybe there's like a crackhead somewhere it's probably some crackhead energy i'm assuming yeah okay so that's a guy can you walk somewhere on the staircase that's what i was thinking Bruh. can you walk Bruh. up the stairs towards me please Bruh. Bruh. don't worry about jeff push past him okay guys 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 is it me or whenever you feel like that whenever you're watching like a horror movie or like a horror video and uh, there's like a a guy that's old L exactly like this guy we cannot properly see him but whenever there's a guy like that with an english accent all of a sudden it's like a little bit more scary is it me or you feel that or you're like i'm just like bruh, bruh. like let's like, come on son like like that ain't it chief i want to know like i feel that way it's uh Maybe I played one of those games from Man and Madon. Not played, but watch on YouTube. <laughs> like dark picture anthology. I thought someone was coming up the stairs. As we are hearing movement on the stairs, Phil asks for whoever it is to come up the stairs, and I hear footsteps approach me. Here is the enhanced audio. Okay, we're gonna hear enhanced audio. Okay. We're gonna save bullets. I'm not gonna shoot if I don't have to. Oh, damn. That I thing moved too. Was coming up the stairs. It the sound of footsteps well. can be heard coming towards Jeff as he's standing on the staircase. Cut to a little later into the investigation and the team decides to take a break upstairs. 
right after they leave, a static camera pointed at the staircase captures something truly chilling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, snap. Are we gonna see like a... Hey! I got our... A shadow figure can be seen on the staircase, which then vanishes as it walks to the side. Now, it should be noted here that the shadow disappears right into a solid wall. So could it be that Phil's workplace is haunted by the ghosts of the deceased old power plant workers? I'll leave that up to you to decide. You can watch this entire investigation what? and many more spooky moments over on the YouTube channel. I mean, it was just a shadow, dude. Bruh. <laughs> Man, I've seen so many of these videos that I'm like, bro, I need to see more. You know what I'm saying? I need to see more. He did set us up, man. He did get me again, bro. Like, for the second time, uh, I'll give him that. You know, I'll give him that. Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Disappearing Act. Okay, Who is it. here? Oh, this will be bad. Okay, I, I feel I'm, I'm getting good vibes from I, I mean, I'm getting bad vibes from this one. I feel like this one will be scary. Come on. Matter. Popular Ow. Chinese ghost hunter what? Xiao Wang sets out to investigate the creepy story surrounding an abandoned and allegedly haunted mansion in Fushun City, China. He broadcasts. Okay, okay, so listen, whenever we have like Japanese ghost stories, like I'm like, okay, some real shiza about to gotta happen. Like I gotta play like, oh shit, oh, shit. Oh, you know shit. what I mean? Like, but this is Chinese, so China, China number one, mother truckers. But I've never. Seen never really watched a video with chinese ghost stories so this is probably gonna be and he the fact that he said f your mother i mean damn son it's exploration like live on his youtube channel and also on a chinese broadcasting app as thousands tune in to watch his live stream yeah. as xiaolong makes his way through the massive i don't know if you saw this but it was like 142,000, if i'm not mistaken i don't understand chinese Bruh. But but it's a 142 like number wise. Damn, they got their own apps and streams, right? Like I'm not sure if Google is allowed there. Can somebody correct me? Uh, is Google allowed? Can you use Google in China? I don't think so. I don't think you can use YouTube either. With VPNs, of course. Like don't try to like oversmart me. I I know. Like, like nope. Like with VPNs, you can. This building, exploring the long hallways, room by room, he suddenly hears a very eerie sound. <sighs> Yeah. Yo, what if you cannot Here's use VPN here. in China? Children. Oh man, this is getting louder, bro. Oh, I need MP5, bro. What happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Before my guy was so confident about it, no laugh your man. He's scared, he's scared. Oh damn, oh damn. Xiaolong is shocked as he hears the creepy sound of a Gu Qin, an ancient Chinese musical instrument, being played by someone. But Xiaolong's night is about to become much more terrifying. As he continues to explore, he finds himself lost in an endless maze of confusing hallways in the large abandoned mansion. Bro. What happens next is downright chilling. Yo, if you get stuck in here and you do not know... Oh, this will be bad. Am I seeing something? Is that something in front of me? Why is this so place so big? Oh snap, it's getting real quick. It seems that I cannot get out of here. Unexplained bang. Bro, tension's high, tension's high. Okay, clear, 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 clear. To the to the right. Clear. Bro, what is this place? It reminds me of that Dira. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It reminds me of that Dira zombies map. What is that something? I think that's something. Oh. Bro. Come on, 
come on, I cannot reload. is shocked as he sees an eerie shadow figure seemingly watching him from the end of the hall. He charges toward it only to find that it has disappeared and now reappears back where he started. He chases it, but again, it disappears into thin air. In the distance, he sees a door unexplainably closed by itself. Thoughts on this one, y'all? Uh, one, if you think it's legit, two, if you think it's not legit, cause like, damn man, I don't know man. He's Chinese, so I, I don't know if I want to trust this because Chinese, they're like 500 Bruh. IQ. He might have some crazy weird setup. The, the, I'm not sure how he did that one. Like one minute it was there and the, once he got there, looks back, it's still there, right? He's Chinese, so 500 IQ, he must have did something, man. Is this legit or it was he or did he plan? And if he did plan that's a great man that's a great one like this is a good one like i'll, I'll tell you that so xiaolong thinks that the dark figure he saw might have ducked inside the room so he heads toward the door to investigate <laughs> again Yo, i i ran i <laughs> Okay, bro, I don't even want to fire. Like, I'm genuinely invested right now. Like, I want to see what happens. He's breathing heavy, too. Oh, man. Unexplained music. What? I know. I know. Bro, why would you say F your mother, bro? Like, it's gonna... It's gonna anger. It's gonna anger him, whoever that is, right? Like... Oh, damn. Yo, yo, great actor, great actor, or you legit, like, what y'all thinking? Like, he's Chinese, man, he 500, might be 5,000 IQ, you never know, man, like... He might have planned this. I have a Chinese friend. He has a room temperature IQ Bruh. though. No, actually he's smart. He he is smart. Bomboka. Yeah. So it, my point here is that like if you're Chinese, you're either like really smart, really smart, or room temperature IQ. That's what I've noticed with uh, with people. Like all my friends in high school and whatnot. Like some of uh, only one of them has stuck with me, and we we sometimes chill and whatnot. He's kind of decent. I wouldn't say he's like crazy smart. Maybe that's like me being biased because I'm like, nah, man. Bruh. He's not this smart, man. He's a, but yeah, he's pretty smart. He's pretty smart. So either you're like five thousand IQ or your room temperature IQ. And with that, Xiao Long has had enough. He sprints along the winding halls of the mansion and eventually makes his escape. So did Xiaolong capture a strange teleporting shadow figure? As oh. always, I leave that to you to decide. Yeah, you can watch many that, more of Xiaolong's terrifying explorations live on his YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiaolong. Oh, what? Okay, I'm kind of shocked right now. So yeah, okay. I mean, thank God. Like uh, in China, at least they can use use YouTube. I thought they couldn't. I mean, thank God. Thank God. I mean, the Stranger homies deserve it. Like, house. When like, Tic Tac Julian it, you know? moved into her new house with her son and two daughters, she didn't know much about the property's history or previous owners. Listen, man. Like the, it's all about the government, man. The government is always corrupt, man. Go the, it's the government, not the people, man. The people are always good, man. Owners. But as it turns out, a man had taken his own life in the house many years ago. Even stranger, the previous owner said that the house was haunted by that man's ghost and had left in fear. 
So, not long after Leanne and her family move into the house, odd, unexplainable things begin to occur. One day, Leanne notices her six-year-old son, Dylan, exhibiting some very odd behavior. Very odd behavior? Like what? He yeah, smashes it. Okay, he's looking at something, right? Oh, damn. Oh, Little damn. Dylan is playing with his toys in the living room when he can be heard saying, Who's that? Then Dylan seems to be looking at something that we can't see before quickly spinning around, seemingly frightened by something behind him, almost as if he felt something touch him. Yeah. And things just get creepier from here. <laughs> One autumn day, Leanne is outside filming little Dylan as he plays in the fallen leaves. Brilliant. Then this happens. Ow! Then Yay! this happened? So what would happen? Like, will we see like footsteps? Uh, seven months later, we move right out. So what would happen? Um... Am I seeing things or did something push my Run that back I think He will run that back so we'll Dylan happily throws around leaves And then he seems to throw his toy at Something But then some unknown force seems to Forcibly shove him to the ground Leanne believes that the spirit That haunted their house was now targeting Her six year old son Soon after this video and several other incidents, Leanne and her family moved out. They had only thoughts on this one, man. This one, like, you know, it's uh, if this one is fake, like, how can they fake it, right? Like, maybe wearing a green screen, uh, but the grass is green, so that goes out of the way. Maybe a blue screen, but the kid is kind of blue, so like, if they mask that out, <laughs> the kid would be uh, masked out as well. Or maybe they were using a different color, and somebody like just pushed it, and there was someone in front with like a full-on costume, like a same color. But 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 yeah, would someone actually go as far as to fake that one for a TikTok video? I don't know, man. Yeah, there are people that would go really far to fake stuff out, but it's like, for a TikTok, like, if you're making, like, crazy amount of money, probably maybe you want to fake that out, or maybe, but if you're making a lot of money and you have a crazy following, why would you even fake that, right? So it's, it's just one of those things. I don't know, man. It's, um, very suspect, very suspect. Like, whatever you can, the, the things that I'm coming out right now, it, there's a contradiction to that. It's like, okay, yeah, they can do that, but it's like, if, they, if they're if they big, why would they do that? But there are people that would go at lengths to fake stuff, but it's one of those things, it's like, bro, like, it ain't that deep, so why would you fake this one, right? They lived in the house for seven months, but they no longer felt safe. Mm. So, was Leanne's house haunted by the former tenant? What do you think? The unwanted sus. roommate. It's sus. Popular paranormal investigator Chriselle Luna says that after eight years of exploring ha Okay, now do not go and start a googling, start YouTubing. Come on, son. Like, Bruh. don't do that. Do not chase pom pom. Ch let the pom pom chase you, bro. In places that some strange dark presence seems to have attached itself to her and Chris even out. followed her home. At her Chris new apartment out. in the Dominican Republic, she sets up multiple cameras around her home in hopes of capturing the strange paranormal activity that she experiences on a daily basis. Oh, damn. And it works. Yeah, 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 Late yeah, yeah, one yeah, yeah, night, yeah. as Chriselle is sleeping in bed, her security camera catches something chilling. Ow! It will move, it will move. Pow, son! It's gonna jump, I'm assuming. Okay, it was just kind of moving and now it's not moving. Oh, that gonna move. It's not moving, but it's gonna, I think. Not yet. It's not moving, bro, come on. Ah, yeah, 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 it did move, it did move. Just slightly, just slightly. Maybe there was a shivava behind that too. You know? Bruh. Uh, maybe, I don't know, man. How would I know, right? Like, how would you know? Uh, that's the real question. And how would I know as well? So. She's kind of feeling energy, I think. Maybe that's why she woke up. Or maybe great actress. Maybe this was planned. 
thoughts. Nothing too crazy, but nothing too crazy again to the point where we know it's fake. It's like, it's one of those things that's like pretty tame, it's pretty kind Eerily, a pillow at the end of Chriselle's bed begins to move, rocking back and forth on its own. Then a painting on the wall just sort of slowly rotates. The sound of the painting scraping along the wall wakes Chriselle, but she's confused and has no idea where the strange sound might have come from. Mm. Cut to the next night, and Chriselle is woken again by strange sounds. But this time the bizarre noises are coming from her empty, dark bathroom. She grabs her phone and hits record. What oh, she sad. captures is absolutely unnerving. Oh, yo, okay, I don't like mirrors. Okay, Chris, uh, Chriselle's audio during this next clip was mysteriously corrupted. Chriselle doesn't know why. Damn! Damn! Sorry for the mess, but... This is where I just heard it. Yeah, audio bad. Oh, Lord, the audio. Oh, Lord, the audio. This uh, There's nobody here, she says. I got a burp. Yo, the mirror, Oh, bro. Oh, bro. We about to see a shadow. We about to see a shadow, though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's that? Nah, that's just smoke, bro. That's just smoke. That is just smoke. No way. Turn on the lights. A creepy, mist-like figure can be seen moving around in Chriselle's bathroom. It is but when awful. she heads in to investigate, there's nothing there. Bro, so how? is Chriselle haunted by a dark presence? Or just what? Is okay, no, that is bizarre. Uh, for a second, yeah, 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 yeah. That there's just a mirror and it's kind of closed, right? I thought that that was a window that she left open and maybe from outside some smoke kind of came in or fog. You, you know what I mean? This. Let me know what you think. You can watch Chriselle's entire video and many more creepy explorations over on her YouTube channel, Chriselle Luna. Mm. Watching Number you. Number two. This next watching video you. was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer Felix Estrella from Gainesville, Florida. One very early morning, Felix admits that he was a little inebriated when he went outside for some fresh air. He then spots fresh something air. truly bizarre in a garage window. He pulls out his phone and starts to film. Fresh air, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, I seen this. I seen it. I, I think I seen this. If there's our hands coming, if some, yeah, I see. I think I've seen it. Yeah, that's a face, dog. Bruh. Bro, it looks like a. Oh, yo, 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 yo. yo. It looks like a fail. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Okay, now, bro, like I'm starting, like my imagination is running wild. Before it kind of felt like uh, still a face, but it felt like uh, like a dog's face. But then it's like felt like uh, something else, and now it really feels like a woman's face. Like that's the nose, that's the eye, that's like the hair, kind of like touching the 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 side of the head, right? You know what I mean? It's and it's like looking, and that's maybe like right here. It would be the body. There's kind of like a shape, or maybe I'm imagining it, you know, like hands. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like staring directly. Did it, and disappeared. I'm assuming. Yeah, gone. Gone. No. Nope. Okay, nope. Cool. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Will it come back up? Maybe that was. A and pale, creepy no face can be seen watching Felix from the window. As Felix walks closer to the garage, the face mysteriously disappears. So could it be that- Okay, listen, the, the thing that makes me believe that it's fake is that the second he starts shaking the camera, it disappears. You know what I mean? Like, was- did he meant to do that? Was he meant to actually shake and- you know, during post editing, uh, you know what I mean, right? Like that was maybe his sign to kind of like remove it. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's one of those things like. That Felix caught some kind of ghost or entity by accident. You tell me. Mm. Paranormal I feel like that was a nightmare. For the last okay. five years, Kathy Gallinger from the YouTube oh, channel shit. Paranormal oh, Nightmares oh, says she's been experiencing paranormal activity in her home in Canada. 
Now, Kathy well, might Canada? seem to know you as I featured some of her oh, spooky shit. captures. Yo, I'm in Montreal as well, Canada, though. So, okay, I gotta play that all oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's my new favorite sound effect. Sent her home before. Oddly, the paranormal presence often seems to target her pet cats. Pet cats. Yeah! There's a smoke coming out. Oh, yo, look at how the cat is. <laughs> the cat was observing it. Like that. Ass. Oh, snap. The cat was really dead ass looking at it. And the way the cat ran, it's looking at Kathy believes that the source of the haunting in her home might be her collection of antique dolls. However, Kathy doesn't want to get rid of the dolls as they belong to her. Yo, dead ass though, like I thought there was something like kind of like I saw from the corner of my eye, like something kind of moved though. Like, I don't know, man, that's kind of bad, man, that's kind of bad. Let me just look around for a second. Everything seems good. Okay, be good, boys. Stud muffin good, okay? Uh, drop a thumbs up. Do not look behind you, man. Let's, uh... Her aunt, yeah. who has now passed away. Kathy keeps the creepy dolls in the basement with a security camera monitoring the area 24-7. So one day at around 3 p.m. in the afternoon, Kathy's husband, Jamie, goes into the basement to quickly cut a piece of wood in his basement workshop. When he comes back out, he's a bit freaked by what he sees. <laughs> Ow! So he's coming out. Okay, he's walking faster. He's very like, hey, I gotta tell. I gotta tell you that. It's that kind of walk, you know? I gotta tell you that. Hey! Man, I'm running out of bullets, guys. I cannot do this. Like, goddamn, bro. Like,. It's still like back. It's not rocking forward. It's rocking back and it's staying like that. Damn, son. Damn. Is it gonna? Yeah, you see that? That's gravity. Oh, he saw that immediately. Was it planned or? I don't know if I would. Oh, hey. I know I said I'm running out of bullets, but guys, tough moments. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. Huh? Oh, listen, listen, listen. This is this, this one is. Stop the cap. I don't know, man. I know why he did that. He's like, is there any wire attached? Was he doing that to convince him, or was he doing that to convince us, the viewers? Like, hey guys, like, see, this is legit. Uh, I'm gonna do this and that, and, and it will prove that there's no wire attached, so the viewer at home will know it's legit. Did he do that? Because the second he came in, like, he looked at this all kind of bizarre. I'm not saying that you cannot catch stuff out of the blue, but it's one of those... He did two things so far that makes me believe that it was intentional and this is all made up and it's a hoax. He did two things. Again, not saying it cannot happen, but it's like... And also, if you're, like, uh, religious, I mean... I'm religious as well, I'm Muslim, but the, the, the stuff that I hear is that, like, if you're religious, it doesn't mean that, like, you will never account, encounter stuff like that, but it's like, if you got a cross near, if you, it, it, like, these things, these demons, or whatever you want to call it, these entities will not come closer to a religious place, if you believe in your religion. At least for me, for me though, I don't, I, I believe that there's stuff for sure, but it's like, they would not come around areas where there's like a some sort of religious presence or you you got some religious st uh, stuff right there will not enter that area that's personal belief again like i could be wrong, wrong. but but it, not talking about the religious even though we just talked about it that's like number uh, like n number three but the first two things he did are like number one looks at it instantly number two he tries to remove something maybe he was convincing himself or i, I think he was trying to convince us though I don't know. Thoughts? Agree? Disagree? <laughs> what? <laughs> man, I the don't chair know, the dolls are in seems to lean back on its own and just stays there wobbling in mid-air. Jamie can't believe his eyes and uses the piece of wood he was cutting to just kind of poke around the chair looking yeah, for anything know, weird. Man. 
but he finds nothing, even after checking on all sides. But again, like a contradiction here. Maybe he was doing this because he thought somebody would have pranked him, so, or maybe he was like really trying to convince himself. Like maybe something stuck up behind the chair that was holding it, so he was making sure for himself. Maybe it's legit, but hey man, there's just like two things happened so far that I'm like, okay, back to back on the top. The chair drops know. back to the floor and Jamie has had enough. He decides to just get out of there. But Jamie isn't the only one who has had a terrifying experience in the house. In the middle of the night, Kathy hears noises coming from the upstairs bathroom. She returns with her phone and begins to record in the dark. Before long, things take a terrifying turn. <laughs> Guys, it's 2 3 in the morning. I'm in the upstairs bathroom. I was in here five minutes ago by myself and I heard something whisper my name, so I ran into the bedroom and got my phone. I'm scared. Shitless. I'm in here oh, by dang. myself. I've got the nightlight on. I'm sitting on oh. the toilet. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. To see if I can catch the voice again. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Oh, Who are you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, bro. Go away. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Kathy what? is shocked as she sees what looks like a strange misshapen shadow figure that seems to emerge right out of the darkness. She says she has no idea who or what it could be. I don't know about that. So is that Kathy's one. house haunted? Are the dolls? At first, I was gonna say that maybe the lights are off, so somebody came in and to do this. But the second she, the second she turns on the lights, there was nobody there, though. It's haunted, or is it all just an elaborate? But but the, but this cat part, I kind of I believe this one though. Okay, you know what? This was part of the same video, so maybe it is true. I don't Bruh. know, man. I really don't know, man. I don't know. But the cat part, I believe the cat part more because the animals, you know, behave. They would not behave like that. It's not hooks. Normal. You decide. You can watch <laughs> Kathy's videos over on her YouTube channel. Pay Ladies and gentlemen, click on this video on the screen, man. Some of the craziest video or click the video on the left, either one, and I will see you right there.